We all love that smooth slow motion in our videos, especially if it's 120 frames per second buttery smooth slow motion. But the problem is is that not every camera shoots 120 frames per second. So that's why in this video I'm going to show you how to get smooth slow motion with only 60 frames per second footage in DaVinci Resolve. All that stuff coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into it. All right, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, we're gonna start this effect. So drag your clip onto the timeline and cut it down to the section that you want to be slow motion. Now just zoom in on the clip and hold Alt and use your scroll wheel to zoom, like kind of cool. So there's multiple ways for us to make a clip slow motion, but the easiest way is to right click on the clip and go to retime controls. So now you see that there's a blue arrow that appears on our clip and this is just saying that your clip is moving forward. So now just click on the drop down arrow and go to change speed and then just select 50%. This ultimately means that the clip is just going to be slowed down to 50% of the normal speed. And as a general rule, with a clip that's 60 frames a second, you can drop the clip to 50% of the normal speed and not have any frame loss at all. Now let's just say that, uh, that it's not slow enough. You can drop the speed of the clip more by going to the drop down arrow and selecting whatever speed that you want. But as you see, there's only a few options. And if I want to drop the speed to 30%, you really can't in this menu but what you can do is grab this blue tab on the top and drag it out this ultimately just controls the speed of the clip so now you can see that our speed is changing around as we drag it so I just drop my speed to 30% and now you can see that the speed is actually good but it's choppy and that's kind of like the opposite of this video but we can fix it we can go into the inspector tab and go down to retime and scaling. And now under retime process, select optical flow. And then under motion estimation, click on enhanced better. So ultimately what optical flow does is it uses the information that the clip has and it tries to create extra frames to blend the clip together so it looks smoother. Now most of the time this works fantastic, but occasionally it looks like crap and you can't actually use it. But those instances are few and far between. So now if I play the clip back, you can see that it's a lot smoother than before. But let's say you want to slow down a certain part of the clip because, you know, you want that cool slow motion effect. Well, we can create a speed ramp and ultimately what that is, is it allows you to go from one speed to the other and transition smoothly. So now we can right click on our clip and go to retime controls. Now we need to find the part of the clip that we want to slow down. I want to slow down my friend Elias breaking the stick on a tree. Kind of looks cool, honestly. So with your playhead where you want the slow motion to start, we have to add our first speed point. So click on the drop down arrow and select add speed point. Then go to the end of the slow motion part and add another speed point. So on this section that we want slowed down, hit the drop down arrow and change the speed to 25%. And now you can see that it's still a little too fast. So we can just go ahead and grab our speed point and drag it around and drop the speed down to about 15 or 20, something around that. So now that the speed's good, we need to actually make it a little smoother because right now it's choppy as crap. So we're gonna enable optical flow. So once again, go to the inspector tab and go into retime and scaling and then change the retime process to optical flow and the motion estimation to enhanced better. So now when we play it through, you can see that it's a lot smoother. And of course, right here, you can see that there's just a little distortion, but not too bad. So now that we got that all good, we need to play around with the speed ramp because right now it goes from normal speed to slow motion like that. So ultimately what we have to do is smooth out the keyframes. So close out the retime controls and open up the retime curves by hitting the button right here. Now left click on the drop down arrow and check retime speed and make sure that nothing else is selected. Just retime speed. So instead of going from 100% down to 20%, we can actually create a curve that gradually changes it from 100% to 20%, but smoothly. So to do that, we can select the keyframe and hit this curve button right here and do the same thing for the other one. And now you can see that it smooths out the keyframes. You can adjust the curve right here by using the handles and moving them around. So you can make it faster speed ramp or a slower speed ramp. And you can also change the size of your keyframe viewer by hovering over the percentages right here at the top and bottom and drag them around so you can ultimately expand the view. So if you want to 
speed your clip up to like 2000%, but right here it only goes to like 480. You can just grab that and drag it up and all of a sudden now you can see 2000%. I literally just found out about this like a few days ago. So like, call me stupid, but it's like awesome. So once you get your clip slowed down just the way that you want it, it's probably gonna be laggy. So to fix that, what you can do is right click on your clip and go to render fusion cache output and turn it on and you'll see a red line appear and it's gonna start to turn blue. Ultimately, this just allows you to pre-render this section of this clip so it can play back smooth. And if you change some things around or retime it, it automatically updates, unlike Premiere Pro where you used to have to just render in and out. But if this line doesn't show up, what you can do is go up to playback at the top right here and under render cache, select user. And now the line should appear. Okay, here we go. Focus. Speed. I am speed. I am lightning. So there you have it, smooth slow motion with 60 frames per second footage in DaVinci Resolve. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share with a friend so that they could also get smooth slow motion in their videos too. If you want more videos about DaVinci Resolve effects, transitions, and workflows, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on new videos put out. And which do you prefer, a gimbal or a steady cam? Let me know in the comments below. I personally use a Ronin SC with my GH5S and I freaking love it. It makes it super smooth and it's really light so my arm doesn't hurt at the end of the day and make that you know tingly feely that we all hate so if any of you are interested in that check it out in the link below it's an awesome gimbal and it will you will not regret it but anyway as usual the video at the top is a video all about four must know creative masking effects in davinci resolve and the video on the bottom is a video that youtube thinks that you would like but until the next one peace